Hello and welcome to the Soft Hummingbird Tutorials. This is a series of tutorials in which I will show you the program Gvideon. In this video I'll show you how to generate and evaluate a 2D Fourier transformation from your data. In another video I will also show you some funny tricks how you can use the Fourier transformation and Fourier filtering in order to manipulate photos and normal images. Okay, now let's perform fast Fourier transformation, which is abbreviated with FFT. To do this, click on Data Processing, Integral Transformations, 2D Fast Fourier Transformation. Click OK, and here is our transform. I personally like to view it in grayscale. Now we can take a look at the line profile to gain information about our image. We can average over several pixels if we want. Let's take 4 pixels. Applying gives us a new window with the line profile. The peaks in this profile exactly give us the frequencies of the separation of the waves seen in our AFM image. But the separations are given in the reciprocal space. So we need to find out their values and calculate the inverse. For that, we fit some Lorentzians to obtain the exact peak positions. So we go on Function Fitting, select the first peak, and fit. For x0, that means the lateral peak position, we get 22.11 microns to the minus 1. The second peak gives us 30.48 per micron with this error. We can calculate the separation to be 8.37 per micron. Taking the reciprocal value gives 120 nanometers. That means the waves in the FM image are separated by roughly 120 nanometers from each other. Clicking on this button also gives us the orientation and angle of the line. The tilt of the line is 18 degrees, which is the orientation of the waves. Now I'll show you a very cool feature, the Fourier filtering. With this one you can filter different frequencies out of your picture. Regarding the last example, with this technique you can split the information about the waves from the information about the surface roughness. The mathematical procedure is, your image is Fourier transformed, you select some areas from the transform which will be transformed back. This is done by clicking here, data, Corrections to Defast Fourier Transformation Filtering. Now in the new window you can define areas from the transform which you want to filter. Remember the parts of the image around the center here are the large frequencies in the real image, since this is the reciprocal space here. The parts of the image outside are the fine details of the image, such as the roughness. Select the central part and click OK. Then you get two images, the back transformation of the selected areas and the back transformation of the unselected areas. Now I adjusted the color scale in order to see the signal. On the left you see the long wavelength of the image. These are the waves. This is the back transformation of the central part of the Fourier image. And on the right you see the roughness of the AFM image, which was generated by the back transformation of the outer parts of the Fourier image. So, if you think about what we just did, it's quite amazing. With almost no effort, we could separate these different data and can now analyze them separately further if we want. Ok, to sum up, we learned how to show the Fourier transformation of an image, how to use Fourier filtering to separate different signals in an image, 
how to separate the signals with long range from the data with short range, for example. In the next few tutorials, I will show you some examples how to open a white light interferometry image, how to open an SEM image, and how to manipulate a photograph. Don't forget to vote if you like this video and subscribe. Also, please visit my webpage Soft Hummingbird, where you can download many tutorials and sample data files.